Good morning everyone. This is Joni from Joni's uh, Designs by Joni. Um, you'll have to excuse my voice. I've been a little bit under the weather and um, I've been working on uh, the box as I will call it. Um, I got a box a few weeks ago and uh, through all of the times uh, that I have wrapped boxes for gifts and everything, I've wrapped numerous boxes, but I have never actually wrapped a box with the, on the outside of it as it would be if it were paper and I was trying to cover the box. So I thought that that would be a good uh, project to do, get a box and fix one uh, for maybe Valentine's Day or something like that. So I bought a box and I brought it home and I left it sitting there and I thought, well, I probably should practice on another box first because I've never wrapped one. So that's what I did. I got a shoe box that I had bought some tennis shoes in and the lid folded over on top of it. It didn't just come down over the end, uh, entire box. The lid didn't come off. It just folded over. So I started trying to wrap that box and the lid kept falling on my hand and falling on my hand. and It turned out to be uh, what I would call a modest disaster. So I put the box away under my desk because I didn't want anyone to see it. And my granddaughter came to visit and uh, she was looking and she said, Mama, would you mind if I would use this box under your desk? And I said, oh my gracious. I said, if you don't let anyone see it, you can use it. So she said, well, I'll put my Barbies in it. I said, that's fine. You can put your Barbies in it. So she took it for a place to put her Bob, uh, Barbie dolls in. So then I go back to the box again, and I look at it, and I think, okay, I've heard about uh, wrapping boxes in aluminum foil, so that's what I'll do. So I crumpled my foil, and I did everything I was supposed to do, and I wrapped the box, and oh my goodness, did I ever have problems, but I finally got it wrapped. And... Um, so I wrapped the lid, got it all fixed, and uh, I was wanting to, uh, uh, I put the black stuff on the outside and everything, the black gesso, but I wanted to seal it, so uh, I thought, well, I'll get some um, varnish and varnish it. And so I go to the store and I get the varnish and I come home and I start to get the varnish out and I'm reading it and yes, you might know what it said, it says, uh, if used, it can cause cancer. So, cancer is runs rampant in our family anyway, so that's something that I don't want to use. So, I said, well, I won't be using that. So, I went over to my um, shelves, and I looked, and there I had a Martha Stewart uh, product called uh, something uh, glaze. And um, it was supposed to look like frost on your uh things and I thought well I'll give it a try so I took it outside like it said and uh, I sprayed it out there and I brought it in to let it dry well when it dried it did look like frost for about the first two hours and after that it looked like I had put baby powder all over it so I don't know what the problem was I have no idea but um, I had to uh, take it and try to remove it. So I tried to brush that powder off. And um, I thought, oh my gracious. So anyway, I got that off. And by this time, I'm not wanting to even mess with the box. So I just set the box aside and I thought, forget about it. I'll just forget about it and I'll do other projects. So then, I'm still, it's still bothering me though, and I thought, I can't let that box beat me. I've got to see what I can do. So I start searching through all of my papers to see what kind of paper I can find. And I had found previously some uh, roses, pink roses, and I thought, that would be pretty if I could get some kind of a solid color uh, bottom to go on the box and put the roses on the lid. So 
I'm looking, you know, I can't find anything at all that would look halfway decent on it. So I go ahead then and I just keep looking and all of a sudden here comes this one picture. And it's this old schooner ship. And um, it's absolutely beautiful. And I thought, there it is. That's what I've been waiting to see. So I got the papers out of my uh, uh, paper uh, drawer. And I brought, the, I only had two sheets of it. So I brought it over and I thought, boy, that's going to be trouble trying to find, get that covered with two sheets. Especially when you want to feature the boat on it. So um, I took it out and I started working on it. And uh, I could hear my daughter, Mom, you have to film this. And I thought, I don't want to film this because I may mess up and I don't want to film my mess ups. Even though I know this is a tutorial and I'm supposed to film it regardless of what I do. So I went ahead and I uh, finished the bottom of the box. And um, it looked absolutely beautiful. I had no trouble at all. And uh, I got it fixed just beautiful. But I really liked it. And I put little legs on it. And then I went to cover my top. And um, it didn't give me any problems either. Except I was running low on paper. And I had to do some piecing of my paper. Uh, using paper uh, for things that uh, I would rather not have had. But anyway, I got it put together. So I thought that I would let you all see the box because it is the box. And I'm pretty proud of it now because um, it isn't uh, what I started out with and it doesn't look quite like um, anything that I had before because uh, I like this. Now I took um, these flowers, I made these out of lace that I had and uh, the lace was um, it was already, uh, um, oh dear, what's the word I'm trying to say? It had already been uh, put together and it was, uh, I can't even think of the word I'm trying to use. Uh, it is um, uh, real, uh, it had been gathered. Gathered is the word, I'm having a senior moment. Gathered is the word. But it had been gathered and it had sort of a rubbery, uh, a plastic-like thing along the edging of it where it was gathered. So I had to put my needle in through that rubbery stuff. So it, they were hard to gather. But I went ahead and finished them and um, I had them just sitting over here and I thought, well, I'll try that on my box. So I used three of them and uh, the lace is um, has uh, a pearl center in each one of them. So then um, I used um, a watch from uh, Tim Holtz uh, that I got at, um, I believe it was Joann's, and I put a cross there because I thought that a mariner would have a cross probably and a clock. That would be two things that he would have. And since they were uh, after um, whales, they would have a uh, an arrow, these arrows. And um, so I put an arrow there. And then up here I put the key and it has heart on it. It's another one of Tim's things. And um, it has heart on it because I thought that the heart always brings people back home. And uh, then I used some uh, little flowers that I also got. I got these at Target. And um, then I used the half, uh, uh, the flat pearls and uh, put them around. And uh, then I had some little ornament things that for the corners and uh, I I think I got those at Target also and um, I was very pleased with the, the job that I was finally able to do uh, with this and um, I'll show you the, the bottom now um, this is the bottom and that's the little legs that I put on it. And uh, that's the ship that uh, gave me so much inspiration. I always like uh, romantic uh, things like the ships and, and all that. And uh, so I had enough paper that I was able to get the ship on both sides. 
and um, then uh, I got uh, one for the top of the lid and the rest of it was maps and things like that but I thought that um, it looked nice so uh, that is what I have been able to do with the box as I call it and uh, I haven't tried to put my lid on it really uh, tight yet because I don't want to maybe tear my paper but I know it has to be done sometime so you guys might as well watch me do it I guess if I can because it warped during my first process with the um, aluminum foil and um, I can get that on there if I want to push it down hard but I'd rather let it dry some more before I do put it on but uh, I think that um, it is a pretty good job and I'm proud of it and I'm glad that I got uh, done at least as much as I did with it. So uh, it didn't defeat me. That's the main idea of the whole uh, story is that I triumphed over the box. So the, I guess you would call this Joni and the box. So uh, uh, I hope that you will like my box and um, you'll like my paper and uh, all these things and um, that uh, you will come back and maybe we can craft again and you can hear some more stories about my adventures in crafting. Thank you very much and uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like it and uh, uh, you come back and we'll craft some more. Bye-bye.